are incredibly steep stairs. <laughs> They're definitely like quite steep and long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in a place called Bunyal Bufar. It is one of my favorite villages in Majorca. I absolutely love it here. Everything is built on the edges of the mountains and overlooking the sea. This is like a village that is completely unforgettable. And that's why it always brings me back when I'm in Majorca. It's just truly amazing here. a quick pick-me-up so I got a cortado which is an espresso shot with just a tiny bit of milk and uh, it's gonna be just a little energy boost I need and this view is just also like the boost that I think my eyeballs need it's just the perfect place to sit this is this is amazing but being on the bus was a little dodgy a little sketchy only because coming around those corners and sometimes you're on like the cliff edge it was definitely uh in, in, like a little adrenaline rush i guess we could say that the bus gave me a tiny bit of adrenaline but if i was ever to buy a property in majorca this would be my spot a nice beautiful property overlooking the ocean on the side of a mountain. It's just dreamy here. I can never get enough. Nobu Far was actually founded in the 10th century. So it has so much history. There's only about 600 people who live here. So it's a very small community, but wow. So big in beauty. Even though walking on these narrow roads, highways, whatever you want to call them, is the way to get around around here it still feels like dodgy because they're so narrow and they're so windy that people come like or flying around the corner and you know there's buses there's just lots of stuff going on so definitely feels a bit dodgy but gotta get it done right the view here is ridiculous it's hard to even sum up into words like the higher i go the just more amazing it gets but it is super, super hot. Like it is ridiculously hot. There is a method to my madness here. Why was I walking on the highway and where am I going? Well, I am still pretty much in Bunali Bufar, just outside of the town. However, it's an amazing location to do numerous hikes. There are so many hikes in the area. I'm doing a rather popular one and I'm going down to the fishing village. It's about from now where I am an hour, an hour more. I've probably already been walking for 30 minutes. So in total, it's like an hour and a half, three hours to go both ways. And uh, I'm excited to see it. Wow. The hiking paths are clearly marked so you never get lost. Detours. If you guys know anything about me now, it's that I love a good detour. is blown. I've actually been down in that bay by that big rock on a sailing yacht before and I've never actually seen it from the top though so it's kind of cool to see the contrast and the different angle. made it to the little village and it is incredibly small very very small little village it looks like there's like five or six roads going up super small super beautiful like this view and it's just really quiet every street I look up there's nobody around it's very very quiet
the hike here itself makes it all worth it to come and check it out 100 percent that right there is the whole village that is a very very old abandoned house I'm back at the top now and I ran I ran because I want to make sure I can take in a bit of the ambiance before the sun sets so booked her up there and now I gotta get back on the dodgy highway but I'm almost there so this is very very exciting walking on these roads Giving me an adrenaline rush, guys. Giving me an adrenaline rush. I can't even talk. If you follow that road behind me, it actually leads to a little beach. So there is a little beach here to go and lounge, go for a swim, and uh, just enjoy this beautiful spot. But yeah, I'm not going to the beach today, but it is just down there around the bend, not far at all. I always start off my videos super fresh and put together, and then I end up on random adventures. And by the end of it, I'm a sweaty mess. It's like my new trademark for my adventures. She will start off fresh, she will end a sweaty mess. Everything seems to be closing super early right now and uh, I was hoping to get on a rooftop terrace to show you guys the view in the sunset but everything's closed. It's like 25 after 6 and everything's closing. So it's my cue to head back to Palma. But in true Petrina fashion, I'm enjoying a glass of vino on a terrace. Those of you might think in Majorca that everywhere I go after I finish a day of adventuring and hiking, I have to have a glass of vino or a canya or just, you know, some little treat like that. So enjoying my vino, enjoying a terrace. And now I'm gonna head back to the city. So thanks so much for watching guys. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to make sure the bell to make sure you're notified every time I post a video, and please hit the like button. We will see you soon.